Hey guys, I am here with the Wordly Wise uh, Lesson 11 um, books and the words. So let's get started. I'll try to do this fast so I don't take up my time or your time. So the first word is attenuate, and attenuate means it's a verb and it's to make or become thin and to lessen the amount, force, or value of. So uh, I, I was able to attenuate the amount of pain I was in by taking an Advil every four hours. And that was a sentence for the second definition. And the second word is behemoth, something or someone of enormous size or power. So the person could be big, which is an enormous size, or even they, they have to have a lot of power. So for example, enormous size would be like a giant, and a lot of power would be like a wizard for say, and if you're Hagrid, you're both. Okay. <laughs> so disinter. Disinter means to remove from a grave or tomb to dig up. So I have a sentence here. The, CS the CSI guy had to disinter the body in order to find evidence of murder. So basically, they had to uh, remove them from the grave and uh, dig up the body parts and the insides. <laughs> okay. And the the fourth word is impinge and it mean it's a verb and it means to go beyond desirable or established limits to encroach. And the second definition for that word is to come into contact with especially forcefully. So the sentence is he built a large fence because he heard his neighbors were going to impinge on his property. So um basically like he was going b beyond desirable or established limits to make sure that doesn't happen okay um multifarious it means having many forms varied or versatile and i guess was this could be having many forms so fear could be multifarious because there's different forms of fear. Some person might fear a clown, others snakes, someone spider, someone dark. So it has different forms. Uh, oxymoron. Okay, oxymoron, we learned about this, and it's a noun, and it means a combination of words that seem to be contradictory. So that would be like maybe clearly, uh, clearly misunderstood, act naturally, pretty ugly. Like a uh, combination of words that contradict each other and the next word is plentitude and that means an ample amount and an abundance so we had a plentitude of food this christmas and thanksgiving because obviously that's a abundance of it especially knowing armenians we always make more than what's necessary okay the next word is postulate and postulate is has two definitions a verb and a noun the first one is to assume as a fact based on the best available evidence and the noun is something assumed to be self-evident a fundamental principle so by saying this we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal so basically that means all men are created equal and we don't need facts to back that up because it's a fundamental principle everyone knows it the next word is prevail and prevail has two definitions also uh, they're both verbs and the first one is to prove superior in power or strength and the second one is to remain in effect or use to be to be current or widespread so the underdog the underdog team was able to prevail over the favored team by making them run around in circles trying to get the ball so this is like the gryffindors and the slytherins when the gryffindors won um, the first match in like 10 years Okay, seven years, and the next word is putrefy? Petrify. Petrify. Uh, it's a verb, and it means to become rotten or decayed, giving off a foul or, foul or odor. So all the expired food became began to petrify in the stinky, smelly compost pile. So it basically becomes rotten, and when it becomes rotten, there's like a foul smell in the air, like rotten eggs, which smells like sulfur. And uh, sal salubrious? Salubrious. Salubrious. It's an adjective. It means beneficial to health or well-being. And the, the salubrious effects of the spa were evident in her rosy cheeks and bouncy steps. So that's good to your health, like going to the doctor and taking medicine to get better. You start to notice the side effects and you start to get better. Uh, succulent. It's an, it's an adjective, and it means fresh, fresh and juicy. So the succulent fruit was delicious because it was fresh and it was juicy, 
and just came from Fresno. The next um, <laughs> word is tundra, and it means a flat, treeless plains of the Arctic region. So there are very few animals living in the tundra because the weather is too cold. So the next word is unequivocal, and that's an adjective, and it means leaving no room for misunderstanding, unambiguous, and that a uh, Basically, a sentence for that would be, since we, we raised over a million dollars for our charity, we consider the fundraiser to be an unequivocal success. So everyone knew that it was a success and there was no room for misunderstanding. And the next word is vic vicissitudes. vicissitudes, and that means fluctuations in conditions and changes of fortune. So a sentence for that would be, a business run by moral agents will not be able to survive the vicissitudes of the marketplace. So by saying that, it means there's ups and downs. One day the marketplace might be doing good, and one day it might be doing bad, and um, it's saying that the, there are different conditions and changes. Thank you guys for watching the Worldly Wise Chapter 10 video and i'm sorry if i butchered all the words or if i said anything wrong i'm like really really tired um thanks guys